A heated debate ends in a vote to require face masks in Johnson County. Today, the Board of County Commissioners discussed Governor Kelly's mask mandate and voted to adopt it. 41 Action reporter Emma James tells us how residents feel about this decision. Chairman Ed Eilert tells reporters he would have liked to have more time to look over the governor's order. However, after hearing from multiple public health experts today, he says he ultimately agrees with it. But that wasn't the case for everyone on the board today. Commissioner Fast. Aye. Commissioner Allen. Aye. Commissioner Klicka. No. Two more yes votes later, and everyone in public spaces in Johnson County is required to wear a face mask. The board heard testimony from Director of Health and Environment, Sanmi Ariola about the effectiveness of masks. We now have robust studies that support this. It is one of the few efficient tools now available to us to contain the spread of this virus and to protect our citizens. Public Health Officer Dr. Joseph Lamaster spoke about the significant rise in cases in the county. We're now seeing record numbers of new cases, mostly even more in the last 10 days, uh, the highest yet in the pandemic, and an increasing trend in the wrong direction. Dr. Ariola also says the rise in cases is not because of an increase in testing. So right now, while the, the testing uh, increase is pretty steady, you can see the dramatic rise in, in, in the percentage of, of uh, cases that are testing positive. It's pretty obvious that the increase that we're having here is not a consequence of increase in testing. Overland Park resident Dave Renbloom spoke of his support for the order. It's really about the, um, you know, least intrusive and, you know, easiest thing that you can do to show that you're basically a decent human being. Terry Carmody tells me she won't wear a face mask in a public place. It's just another example of people giving up their freedom for fear, and I prefer freedom to fear. Chairman Ed Eilert says the district attorney will take the lead on enforcement using education and information to reach people. He says the county will also create a hotline for the public to do their own enforcement. That will go live on Monday. In the meantime, he's asking folks do not call 911, which he says has already been a bit of an issue. In Olathe, Emma James, 41 Action News.